What's going on everybody? We're at the A2 wind tunnel testing this car. I'll put a link in the video description below going over the prep uh, for this whole day. We're with the race liver guys. Anybody want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> so we just did our uh, baseline run. You can see we blanked the hood and then we just did some vents. Uh, just wide open vents. Nothing special. Uh, but yeah, we're ready for run two. When a, wind tunnel time isn't cheap, so we got to be quick. All right, guys, we just finished run two. Um, so with it, they just picked up a few pounds. I think we're gonna not give out exact numbers right now. We're gonna wait till we get home to give out exact data. Slight gain. If, yeah, but slight gain, which we kind of expected. So now, uh, next run, just doing little gurneys in front of it. And we did these on the hood louvers. And you, you did a video on your channel, right Al? Yeah. About uh, like the gurney in front of hood louvers and stuff. They'll help a little bit, but probably not as much. Probably not much. Nice. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, all right, on to run two. All right, guys, so we just got the numbers for this run. You also got to consider that you can see it in front of Al's foot. I got, you know, all my tunnels and everything under there. So the pressure in the fender is much different than it was on the E36. So that's kind of why you can't just like look at one thing and think it's the same universally. All right, we'll be on to run three in a second. Uh, so stamp louvers, what's that? Uh, stamp louvers did something. Uh, and we're swapping to a slightly more open louver right now. Yeah, this is just a competitor's uh, typical recess louver. Gotcha. All right, so louvers are easy enough to swap over. Uh, run, uh, shoot, what are we on? Four now? Yeah, they are. Yeah, run, run four is coming up. All right, guys, so these kind of made the changes we expected. All right, so now what we're going to do is put my original Audis back on, see where they land compared to all the others. I keep losing track of runs. I think run five? Yeah, I think run five is coming up. All right, guys, <laughs> so my louvers that I designed, shit, I, I designed these probably, I don't know, six years ago. I made the molds for these. Uh, actually performed pretty well. Happy about that. Fortunately, I discontinued these. <laughs> so uh, on to the, the next step, which is your, this is your RS, right Al? Yes, these are the uh, race louver street trims. Street trim, which is your smallest option? Yeah, the okay. smallest one we make. So the smallest ones they make, so let's see what they do. Now these are just blank. They come painted, right, Al? Yeah, they come yeah. black powder coat. These are just uh, raw off the laser. To, uh, to, ready. Yeah, kind of test. Because we're going to mangle them and scratch them. And gotcha. And we're going to want them after that. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just finish up that run. And then Al and I were just getting into a conversation about, can we see them with your Al or no? See what? The pressure probe. Uh, no. So Al put pressure probes on the front and the rear of the radiator to measure the pressure drop across the radiator, uh, which kind of, you know, tells us a whole bunch as well. Uh, so what we were talking about the pressure difference between the front and the rear means you got increased or decreased cooling capacity. But the downforce of these, again, with the, the splitter and the tunnels, these are kind of helping the splitter make a little more downforce instead of the gains coming from the radiator. But yeah, it's all about uh, things working together. Yeah, so we're not we're not quite sure yet, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so no, these we're are even, we're not even a quarter of the way through this. Yeah, day. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so next, we're run, I think eight now is their RT trim, um, yeah. which is a little bit of a bigger wicker and what bigger? Different blade. Different blade orientation, I guess. All right, so we're just done run eight. I think we're already on the nine. Uh, knocking these things out. Now the RX is their big ones, which we tested on. The RX were on the E36, right Al? Yep. Um, and we got good results with them, so. Trying them on the fenders in this situation. All right. And uh, see what we get with this. All right, so what 
we're doing in this one, Al's changing the angle of the louvers because we got a couple pound change, right Al? Uh, just from the angle alone. So we'll kind of see what that does and kind of get these working as good as they can. All right guys, so we're gonna do a smoke run coming up and then in the middle of the smoke run, pull the fender block off. So we're gonna take these off and kind of see where the smoke does differently. Um, and then next run, we're just gonna do a run run without those so we know how much kind of like opening the rear of the fender will do, do for us, so. All right guys, bad news, something was up with the smoke machine. So I know everybody likes that part of the video. But um, so what we did was we yanked, I think we can do it through the window. You can see we pulled that little bit off behind the fender. So we can kind of start to guess how much doing a tire cutout will kind of give us. Now obviously this is extreme because I got rid of everything. Um, but that along with the louvers. Now we aren't gonna do a blanked louver top with the tire relief out because we think most people kind of put like a louver on before they hack off the back part of their fender so that's kind of why we're doing it this way um i guess we could do the other run but it gets expensive <laughs> all right so the tire relief was our biggest change so far all right guys we got the race louvers the r this is the rx right yep. okay oh yeah there it is all right i think we're good um, we put these back on. We had a little snafu there. Um, so we put them back on exactly how they were. Um, and then after this, uh, we're going to be swapping hoods. Try out the tiger hood. I think only for one run, because that's that. And then my hood and all of our ducks and get to some uh, front end and some wings. Alright guys, so the RX trim louvers performed well. So, so now we're going to test the uh, Tiger Hood, see how it compares to a set of these. So what right, are we so doing now, AJ? We're, we're, putting, we're putting my ductwork back in behind the radiator. I don't know if I made that clear earlier in the video. So it was just an open radiator to the engine bay. The front radiator ducting was there the whole time. So I think that should clear up some of it. We're doing that. Uh, we're going to blank off the inner cooler though. All right guys, so my hood is back on with our ducks, but this one blanked off. Um, so we're gonna have like a pretty good back-to-back -back of uh, a stock hood with the Race Louvers RX, the Tiger hood, and what like a home-built post-radiator ducting setup will be. So this one, uh, this one should be pretty neat. So let's uh, see what we get. All right guys, so we're taking a little bit of a jump now. So we're ripping these out, putting my back on. Oh, you know what, Al, are we gonna open up the intercooler? But anyway, so Al and I were just talking, since we have a number of just this, and we have a number of just these, is the result gonna be that plus that? But since we now have the ducting, is it gonna be something wildly different? So that's kinda, our, you know, what we're discussing right now. It'd be cool to see. Um, should we do the intercooler? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, so we're going to kind of start getting my car back to my front end trim that I race with. Then we're going to hop into the back and do all the wings. Alright, so we're making more front down force than we have. Uh, we're going to put our little gurneys back on. Uh, that would be, so we're going to see what our gurneys do. Those in front of the radiator and the intercooler. What we doing, AJ? So we're putting our splitter side plate on. Uh, and that's really it, just our side plates. <laughs> All right, get to work. Don't want to make too many changes at once. All right, so side plates. Gave us a good amount of downforce. Uh, but drag as expected. So now we're doing these splitter flaps. Again, should be another good downforce bump, but we'll see the efficiency gain of it. Um, and that's about it.
running into a funny situation where there's so much downforce on the front that's why we did that no wing run because we're actually even with these smaller single element wings that we're running now we're seeing uh, lift in the rear so it's kind of kind of interesting to see All right, so we just finished all of our wing angle change runs. So now we got a few fun runs planned. So what we ended up doing, got rid of the side plate and the flap because they, they were good downforce generators, but we kind of want to see how they compare to just blocking the tire uh, and throwing the air out sideways. So we'll see what kind of change this is. Um, and that's about it on this one. All right, so about expected results with the front. What we're trying to do is now see, okay, what are we trying to do, Al? So we're trying to gain some downforce without adding drag. So these, the RX louvers gave us a better press, pressure drop across the radiator. Uh, a little bit more drag, but with the better pressure drop, you can then tape up the grill to some extent and regain that drag and downforce so it's kind of like a win-win so we're kind of tinkering with that to kind of see what we get with those changes so let's see what happens all right pack up time got to clean up all of this mess so um yeah i'll do a close out in a second because we got to kind of hurry up and get out of here all right guys so we just finished up at the wind tunnel i wanted to do this little close out while before I get driving because I'm pretty excited uh, we learned a ton today um, some surprises some kind of not surprises or almost uh, letdowns I'll say not really letdowns but like you know we were maybe expecting more from certain changes um, but yeah super happy with the numbers that the car made uh, the balance oh man I was like dead on to kind of like what I thought it would be which is which is kind of cool um, so yeah, I'm excited now to get home and kind of look at the data and everything. Um, if you're expecting us to post data, I kind of went over it in the other video as to why we're not gonna put out exact numbers. Cause for prime example, we did a run with no wing that you saw. 
And because there was so much downforce on the front, the rear of the car made about 300 pounds of lift. So when we were doing our sweep of, you know, the smaller wings, even with the smaller wings at, you know, a lot of angle, there was still lift in the rear. So if we just posted a number, it's like, oh, even with the wing, you're seeing lift in the rear. It's just, you know, it's obviously not the right wing for that situation, but we wanted to test all the wings on the same car without changing anything on the front you know, and go and run them through their sweeps. So that way it's kind of like everything is exactly the same. The only change is the wings. So that way, you know, we can, we can cancel out the lift with no wing and where we and where we landed with the wing. And we kind of know how much downforce was made. I hope all this kind of makes sense, but yeah, super fun. Um, I'll be bringing the 350 back hopefully uh, this summer. But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. As always, guys, thanks for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one.